wish we'd had some sign of Kiwana-san, but maybe we'll still get lucky? Are you ready to go, Yagami-san? Yeah, let's go. Man, where is this fucking guy? It's just taking forever. Yeah, it's not like anyone else is here. You think the cops got it wrong? Then what do we do? Keep looking? Is there a fucking point? Seems like Kawana-san's giving him a slip. What's the plan now? Let's find out what RK's gonna do when they catch Kawana. Are they planning to kill him themselves? What, you gonna just stroll up and ask him? Well, I only count four of them. So, two each. Piece of cake. I guess. Okay, let's go. Hello, gentlemen. Got a couple questions for you. Huh? Who the hell are you two? You with the Kome Jewel? Wow, <laughs> they don't even recognize you, Yagami-san? Well, that's kind of sad. What's going on here? Huh? Uh, Yagami-san? I don't think it's just... Yagami? Hey, that's a detective from Komurocho! A detective? Just get him! They're with Kitakata! Fuck yeah! Let's get it started. <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit! Great. More of them. Let's go! That all you got? I thought there were more of you guys. Let's not jinx it, man. You guys came looking for Kuwana, right? What were you gonna do to him? We were just told to catch him. <sighs> not sure what comes after that. You sure the plan wasn't to kill him? I said I don't know! Who gave the order here? Soma? <sighs> it was Akusa's son. Probably on Soma-san's orders, though. Hey, uh, Yagami-san? Hey, how come Ijincho has so many creepy masks? I was just gonna ask you. Kuana's not here. Huh? That intel was fake. We were the ones who put it out. You live here? Then you must be Komichu. Normally, it's us hiring the handyman. But this time, it was Kuwana asking the favor. Huh? To put out false information? Yes. He said he wanted to see what kind of enemy he was dealing with, and how they'd respond to an eyewitness report. Seeing as how easy police info made its way to these thugs, I'd say he was wise to use caution. Were he any closer, he would have been ensnared by now. So Kawana's nearby, watching everything unfold as we speak? He's really in a Jincho then? We'll have to clear the room to discuss that. Hey! Why are you looking at me? Sorry. As you said, Kuwana's return to Ijincho. 
There are benefits to being here that only he can exploit. Where's he hiding out? Under the protection of Tesso from the Yokohama Leomon. But you're cleared to see him. We already took care of that. Kawana actually said he'd meet us? Hmm. Come on. There's a way through the cops don't know. You can get out to the city from there. <laughs> That'd be helpful, thanks. Guess you're not so bad after all. Bear in mind, you may not leave alive if you come back. You were never welcome here. And never mind. So, where do we find Kuwana-san? I'm sure the Liumang will lead us to him. Just so happens I've got a brother there named Tesso. A what? Now let's get there before Kuwana changes his mind. So, you're Yagami Yanaki? Tesso san told me to let you in. Uh, Yagami Aniki? <laughs> Will you be coming inside? Sure, let me pass. This way, please. Do I have to call you that? <laughs> Take a seat. And you too, buddy. This'll be fun. And which of your names should we be using for you now? Kiwana? Or do you prefer Kitakata-sensei? Kitakata's a name that's been all but murdered by society. Any Jincho? I'm just a merry old handyman Kuwana son. If you ask the cops, you're the murder suspect Kitakata. After killing Sawasensei, you fled the scene. At least, that's the story the police top brass are passing down through the ranks. Now, why would they say something like that about you? Calm down, Yagami. How come you never relax? So Kuwana hired you guys from the start. And you pretended to not know each other in front of me? If that's the case, you really went all out for me. Didn't I tell you? The Liumang accepts anonymous requests, too. Tesso didn't know I was the one who hired him. I suppose there's no point in hiding that now. That's just how it is. Nothing to get mad over, bro. You really aren't hiding anything? Did you tell him all you've done? He's a former high school teacher who's going around killing bullies. Can't be much more to hide than that. Need any more convincing? <laughs> Honestly, I'm at a loss. I worked my ass off to get where you are. And I'm still trying to untangle the mess you've made of it. You've got my student helpers by the throats. So I'm really backed into a corner here. You mean the graduates from Kurokawa Academy? Like Mamiya-san? 
Very good, Sugiira-kun. So how about it? No reason for us to doubt each other's intentions, right? All the secrets are out in the open now. Fine. Then I'm gonna light up. You were just over at Komijuo, weren't you? RK was looking for me there. The police even lent them a hand. Yeah. Well, now I'm even more confused. I give up. Who in the world could be after me? Who has influence over both RK and the police? Care to venture a guess? They'd be the uneducated guesses of a handyman. You got any bright ideas yourself, Master Detective? I haven't confirmed it for sure yet, but I have a pretty good theory for you. Oh? Uh -huh. Who? The Public Security Division. That's what a detective from Kanagawa PD said. According to them, you're the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's murder. That's why Kanagawa PD was told to lay off RK. Any trace of RK in the footage near Sawa Sensei's place is gone. Likely public security's work. And with that kind of backing, it's understandable why RK is so confident. Yo, hold up again. Why is public security after Kuwana in the first place? Public security is probably working for Reiko Kusumoto, Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. What? Kawana, you had your students kidnap Shinya Kawai, right? Five years ago in Kamurocho? Kawai bullied Reiko Kusumoto's son, Mitsurukun. That painted a target on his back for you. But before you took Kawai out, you approached Reiko Kusumoto with your revenge offer, didn't you? Ahara told us that. Before taking revenge on a bully, you'd approach the family about it first. Did you make the same offer to Reiko Kusumoto? What if I did? She's the vice minister of the Ministry of Health, and she's pretty popular. She's even cleaning up her predecessor's mess. If it were to surface that she agreed to a revenge killing, they'd have yet another massive scandal on their hands. And if you get to go down in cuffs instead of a body bag, that detail may just come out. Before that can happen, Reiko Kusumoto plans to ha have me silenced and use public security to do it. Exactly. Except public security can't just go after you, so they subcontracted RK to do the dirty work. That would explain why public security is trying to cover for RK. I see. Well, the logic starts off soundly enough. Something wrong with it? Unfortunately, yes. Something does stick out. And what's that? I did, in fact, approach Kusumoto-san five years ago about taking revenge on Shin Yakuai. And just as you said, I used Mama Yakun and the others to kidnap Kawai. And? From that point on, Kusumoto-san knew I was directing Mama Yakun and the others. She'd seen their faces, knew their identities, everything. So, if Kusumoto-san wanted to go after me, Mama Yakun and the others would be first on the list. But the fact is, public security hasn't laid a finger on them, even now. Which means, Kusumoto-san isn't the one giving them orders. Sure, that makes some sense. Hey, so sorry if this is off topic, but what was Kusumoto-san doing when Shinya Kawai was killed five years back? She was standing right there with me. Afterwards, she took three days of PTO, and that was a first for her. Why? Shinya Kawai died at the hands of Kusumoto's son. She drove the knife into his chest personally. She took it slow, making sure he suffered the whole time. Just like Akihiro Ehara, she avenged her son with her own two hands. I admire her. She killed Kawai herself? Afterward, she told me she'd never wash the smell of his blood off her hands. Damn, man. I was the only one who knew that, by the way. The others have no idea. On that day five years ago, 
I sent them straight home after they brought me Kawai. And I was the only one with Kusumoto-san when she killed him. This sounds way too crazy to be real. Even so, the fact is Kusumoto-san hasn't betrayed me. Besides, I doubt the Vice Minister is powerful enough to order public security around. Then who is giving them their orders? Well, I'd say your theory's on the right track. I'm sure public security contracted RK. It lines up with what's happened so far. I imagine they're so persistent because they know I can be used against Kusumoto-san. Either way, whoever's pulling the strings is someone who'll benefit from your capture. So if it isn't Reiko Kusumoto, maybe it's one of her enemies? An enemy? Yeah, like someone within the Ministry of Health, or maybe even some kind of political rival. Nothing would be more valuable to them than dirt on Kusumoto, right? They're probably trying to take her down. Or they could threaten and manipulate her as they see fit. Is that why public security has been taking action? If they wanted to take her down, they could have had the police investigate her fair and square. Right. Kusumoto-san can walk away from the Ministry of Health any time she wants. Plus, she has the public's support, especially with the younger crowds. All just more reasons for her to have enemies. I read some article about how even the Prime Minister has a hard time with her. <laughs> like, she'll get up in his face every time he signs an order. Dumbass loses so many arguments, he practically works for her now. So the Prime Minister is trying to find some dirt on Reiko Kusumoto? He's just an example. Weren't you listening when we said Kusumoto-san has lots of enemies in her position? Hey, don't be a dick. So whoever's behind this may have been looking for a weakness in Kusumoto-san for a while. They must have got their start after realizing Ehara's case was really about getting revenge on a bully. That puts Ehara and Reiko Kusumoto in the same boat, being that their only sons were bullying victims. And if they discovered that Kawai also vanished five years ago. Regardless, that wouldn't account for the rest of the incidents where a bully ended up dead. You'd know. You're the one going up and down the whole country killing them off, aren't you? Kawai makes number seven. Seven? Damn, man. It wouldn't take much to connect the dots. It leads straight to her. Reiko Kusumoto. Then they'd know that she was among the victims who got her revenge. Yeah. And then... To Ahara's case. The link between him and Kusumoto is clear as day now if you know what you're looking for. That link... Sawa-sensei. Took me a while, but I connected the two cases together myself. It was R.K. She never should have even been on their radar. In fact, they traced your name from her. Sawa-sensei knew. She suspected you were involved with the Mikoshiba murder in one way or another, right? You don't care. You see your killing spree on these former bullies like you're doing the country a service. In your eyes, this is vengeance. Actually, no. You'd call it justice, wouldn't you? Except... Sawa-sensei wouldn't have died if it was. That was never my intent. She shouldn't have died. No. You don't get to just brush her off like that. Like an afterthought. You had to have known you'd go down with this eventually. And you're fine if all your old students like Yui Mamiya go down with you. By then, why would you look back at your trail of blood? Why would you clean up all your carnage? It's not your problem, right? You move forward with one purpose. Send as many bullies to hell as you can. Beyond that, you don't give a shit what happens. Sawa Sensei died in tears. He didn't see what I saw. The fear she must have felt was still frozen on her face. You, Ahara, Riko Kusamoto, you're all murderers. And so far, all of you have gotten away with it. So why did Yoko Sawa end up having to pay the price? Tell me, will you even be able to look her in the eye when you die? I doubt it. That's gonna follow me well into the afterlife. 
So what now, then? March to the cops and turn myself in? You should. If you don't do exactly that, no one will know why she had to die. And that'll be the end of her story. Everyone will keep on dancing around her death. Even though she was completely innocent. Just like the cops are doing. Afraid I can't do that. If I turn myself in now, there's only one thing that happens. Public security takes me out. And worse, Reiko Kusumoto would be compromised. And that, I will never allow to happen. Of all the people involved in this, she deserves to walk free. Her revenge was justified. You think so? All she did was scrape off the scum of the earth that pushed her only son into an attempted suicide. She didn't sit around crying about a legal miscarriage. She took justice into her own hands. No one has any right to indict her for that. So don't go there. Nobody lays a finger on her! Hey, skinny ginger kid. Looks like this is gonna turn into a little more than a chat. Good thinking. So is your plan to kill me too? Anyone who interferes with your justice? We all get added to your body count, don't we? The punishment fits the crime. You're just blind. If you can't see that, then you can go to hell! Stay out of my way! Come on! Thank <laughs> you. 
How long has this been going now? I lost track. Call it? Nah. They're gonna tire out eventually. Beating the shit out of each other is the way some people communicate. I can see that. about that time. Uh, Haven't you had enough yet? What? You think it's time to give it a rest? Hell no. Stay out of our way. Uh, You're not looking so hot. Uh, Lucky I stopped when I did, you know. I had a move lined up with your name on it. You're the one who got lucky as far as I'm concerned. I was about to kick your ass. <sighs> what a fucking mess, guys. Hey, both of you, eat. Your food's getting cold. One of our higher-ups cooked this himself. Look good if there's any left. <sighs> Not a problem. This stuff's great. Mmm, mm, delicious. Man, this is the good stuff. So that means Reiko Kusamoto could be being targeted by public security. Right. It's possible part of the police wants to catch me as leverage against Kusumoto-san on public security orders. But that's only if public security really is behind this. You're the one who said you got that info from a cop. Well, someone up top's been putting pressure on the investigation. That much is clear. But no matter how you slice it, the fact that you're enemy number one while RK Rome is free is absurd. Unfortunately, all I got out of that cop was that public security itself is who we're up against. Public security is Japan's top intelligence agency. If they're after you, there's no escape. Agreed. Then I guess now's a good time to make a suggestion. Huh? Hmm? Tell me, who benefits the most from you two fighting? Huh? That'd be public security. The more you drag each other down, the easier they'll be able to get the jump on you. By the time you notice, it's too late. They've got you. That's exactly what they'd want, right? But what if you two work together? You watch each other's backs and act before RK and public security do. You might even be able to find out who's pulling the strings. Huh. Yeah. For two enemies to join forces, there needs to be an even greater threat to fight. Sure. I'm on board with that. Fine, but this is only temporary. Once we've finished with public security, I'm gonna make sure you answer for what you've done. Okay, uh, then where do we start? Should we just storm public security at this point? No. First we need to confirm public security is really the enemy we're after. Right. We'll make our move after that. We have the element of surprise. They have no idea we're working together. Then we'll use it to our advantage and outsmart them. <laughs> Aww. Look at the boys playing nice. If public security's trying to find some leverage against Kusumoto-san, they'll likely be listening in on her. They're the experts in wiretapping and espionage, after all. We just need a quick confirmation. How? 
We'll just give her a call. Right here? Yes. That way, her enemy will trace the call and pinpoint our location. And public security is the only one in Japan who can pull that off, so we'll know right away if it's them. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold up! You saying if you call up Reiko Kusumoto, then the bad guys will start pouring in? Can we maybe not do that here? Actually, that might just work in our favor. Huh? Bro, why are you talking crazy? Uh, Yagami-san, you sure about getting on bro terms without Kaito-san? Wouldn't that bum him out? Whoa. This is amazing. What is this? Good shit, huh? You've got good taste, bro. I knew you of all people would notice the difference. Kuana, when was the last time you spoke to Reiko Kusumoto? Five years ago. On the night she killed Kawai. We arranged it, so we'd never contact each other after that. So you have her number then? If it hasn't changed. What is it then? I have an idea. What? We're gonna set a trap to find out if we really are up against public security. If they trace the call and they send people for us, then we know for sure it's them. That's why we're gonna call Reiko Kusumoto using a location that doesn't exist at all. How's that work? We'll use two phones that can't be traced back to us, and we'll relay your voice. Obviously, you won't be wherever we do this from. Best to do this someplace with no one around. Once we see who they send in, mission accomplished. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. You'll catch up, Sugiura-kun. First, we need to know our enemy. I'll have Tsukumo prep us some burner phones. Which means... a truce for the time being? Only while you're here. Gotta keep things civil for my brother. <laughs> Man, Zhao Sun's cooking makes even the suckier situations not suck. Cheers to that! Hey, so Tsukumo-kun's already got the phones ready. They're burners that can't be traced back to us. Two of them, right? Just like you asked for. Nicely done, Yokohama 99. You were quick. <laughs>